On this episode of the VIP Podcast, I, your host, Michael J. Penny, am joined by Mr. Mike Kitko. You can check him out at MikeKitko.com. He is a fellow Marine. He is a leader. He is a speaker. He is an author. Go ahead, check out his book out, The Imposter in Charge. When you go to MikeKitko.com, he has a great backstory. I'm really looking forward to getting into it. So without further ado, welcome, Mr. Mike Kitko. Yeah, thanks, Michael. It's great to be here. I'm, I'm ready to jam. Excited. Excited to serve and show up. Right on, brother. All right, so tell us the problem opportunity that you are facing that you're focused on. Holy cow. So for the first 43 years of my life, I was everybody. I was who everybody else wanted me to be. And I found myself just ascending the ladder of corporate America, doing, living the, uh, the American dream, right? I, I had you know, bigger houses and nice cars and, and, and huge organizations and huge development paths and people were throwing training at me and development. But inside I was just, I felt internally absolutely powerless, right? It's like, mm-hmm. it's like I knew I wasn't in my purpose and I wasn't serving what I really wanted, how I wanted, really wanted to serve. And it kept accelerating and I kept being rewarded for being out of alignment until it all came you know, like crashing down. And, uh, and once I made that shift into the only thing I ever loved in corporate was developing people and developing teams. All the rest of it, I could, I could just toss it aside. I didn't give a crap about it. So when I rebuilt my life, I was a suicidal 300 pound alcoholic, right? After Marine Corps training, I, I allowed myself to get that far out of alignment. And uh, when I rebuilt everything, Michael, I just, I stepped up and I, I defined that single thing that I wanted to do for the rest of my life and, and really understood who I am and how I wanted to show up. And now I help other leaders do the exact same thing. People that aren't in their purpose or people that feel powerless, like they're not in their purpose or they're in their purpose and they feel powerless. So help them feel powerful in that purpose and make sure they're, they're, they're giving everything every day and not leaving anything on the table. Right on. Well, that's a huge problem opportunity that's out there, especially within the executive leadership ranks. We've seen it time and again, where executive leaders rise up and, you know, whether they're all about, hey, this is the right job. This is supposed to be the right size paycheck. This is supposed to be the right car and the right house. What the heck is going on? Why do I still feel dead inside? Right. So that leads us essentially to your mission because i think it's really cool what you're doing and how you're going out and getting audiences and how they can read in the imposter in charge how they can read about your experiences overall so give us your mission you know it doesn't need to be verbatim but your mission statement sure so the imposter in charge and and you know that's why i went down the track that i that i went down is because I i felt like an imposter inside right i felt like Like when I launched my coaching business, it was just, I help executives feel as powerful inside as they appear on the outside. So Mm -hmm. it was, it was realigning that imposter syndrome inside. And there's three primary drivers of the imposter syndrome, and that's insecurity, inadequacy, and insignificance. Those are really the three reasons that you would find yourself out of alignment with who you really want to be and how you want to show up in the world. My mission is to make sure that everyone understands leaders, executive leaders, professionals. I work with a lot of entrepreneurs as well. Just be able to grow a healthy relationship with insecurity, with inadequacy, help them understand that they're equally as valuable and significant as everybody else, the other 7.7 billion people on the face of the planet, that they don't have to be where they don't want to be at any given time. They can shift their ass out of out of pain and into purpose at the drop of a hat. I did it. I know, I know it can happen. It took me just understanding, getting really, really intricately like familiar with who I really am. And, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a spiritual guy, right? It's about, it's about finding yeah. that your soul's essence, right? Your mind will tell you who you're not. Your mind will take you down a trick or, a, you know, a tricky slope and it'll just keep you heading in or, or compounding, you know, the wrong things for you. So it's getting into your soul and, and identifying who, who am I? And, and like, why did I show up on this freaking rock that's flying 66,000 miles around, around this 20 million degree freaking ball of gas? Why did I show up? What, what am I here to achieve? And until you find that, until you really identify that thing, you're going to feel out of alignment. You're going to feel like you're leaving a whole lot on the table. Like, is this really all that life is? And then for me, that led to 300 pound alcoholic abuse of my wife and my children. 
and it really wasn't like the best life I could possibly live. Oh, of course. Once you that shift, man, the, everybody, like God, universe, every, people come from far and wide to get behind you in that purpose. <laughs>